Dear viewers, I'm planning on making some changes to my channel, so please give me your feedback and suggestions in the comment section as to what you would like to see more of on this channel. And now, today's video. It was like we were back to dating and she was laying in bed with me. She was giving me her pretty smile, the smile that made me feel like she loves me and needs me in her life. Welcome to the Hallowed Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, She Cheated Again, Brutal Truth of Love and Betrayal. But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. So let's begin the journey. This video is a good example of why some guys, yes, I'm talking to you, who are so hungry for love that they get stupid and wrapped up in the one-itis and understand that being fixated on one woman is particularly bad, especially one who has repeatedly shown disloyalty is detrimental. As you watch this, think about how many times you've done this or have been this guy or you know someone who is. Stay to the end for my observations. As for the rest of you, watch, listen, and learn. I'm so annoyed right now. I dated my ex six years ago. The best relationship I've ever been in after only spending one month with her. I thought she was going to be my future wife. Slap to the back of the head. The best relationship you've ever been in? Seriously? Because if that was objectively true, then you wouldn't have written this. And you made this determination only after one month? What are you so desperate for? When a woman senses you are all in so quickly, usually you have just invited all manner of crap which can quickly manifest into some form of disrespect. A year into the relationship, I found that she cheated. She texted two guys asking if they were interested in her while sending pictures of herself to them. She was with me while doing it. Wow, imagine that. Like, none of us saw that coming. Gentlemen, this is why I advocate you as a man have an obligation to become the best version of yourself you can be. Good, emotionally strong, reliable men are rare compared to truly relationship material women. This is why so many of you must adopt the masculine frame of you are the prize, not her. Then you must learn to keep that frame no matter what, so that she is forced to collapse into it or the deal is off. Men who collapse into a woman's frame and believe they must work to worship and please her in every waking moment can expect this kind of E. coli. I broke up with her and didn't see her for a year. She got in contact with me again trying to get back together and I told her no. A year later, she tried again. Good for you. Oftentimes, when you are the one who breaks up with them, they eventually come back, especially when you're Chad or the Tyrone replacement to you didn't work out. The year after that, she told me she wanted to be friends. 
we were friends for a while until she told me she wanted to be with me again. I told her no. I didn't trust her after she cheated. She tells me she doesn't remember doing that. Slap to the back of the head. See now, you were doing so good there, and you had to go and ruin it. You should have blocked her on everything and moved on years ago. However, you couldn't do this. You couldn't bring yourself to burn that bridge, blow it up, the remains of it, and then scatter the ashes to the wind. Guys, can you see how he allowed himself to be sucked back into her reality of the world? She lies to him and says, she tells me she doesn't remember doing that. Hello, what the hell is wrong with you? What is it in you that you suffer from one-itis with this delusional woman because at the point all this crap is now on you? She later sends me this message. I used to have this thing where I needed others to make me feel loved and I hated myself a little. I would look for someone else so I could get more love. You said I cheated. I don't remember, but if I did, it's because of this reason. Oh, well, it's okay then. You gave me a sob story, followed by an excuse for your premeditated deceit and cheating. She said she's starting to remember the people she hurt and the mistakes she made. Anyways, she says she's trying to do better now. Seeing her saying this, I gave her another chance. Wait a second. Slap to the back of the head. The only thing dumber than giving her another chance would be writing her name down as your emergency contact. Spoiler alert, people. The real emergency here is him trusting her again. We got back together, and she left me on read for a week. I should have learned my lesson. No, really? You think? I'm so dumb. I'm not going to comment on that. This is foreshadowing, by the way. I told her I didn't want to be with her, and I still don't trust her. She's somehow surprised. I removed her from my contacts, and that was the end of that. A year later, she tried to contact me again. I ignored her. Then a week ago, she was trying to get in contact again. I ignored her but I was just going to forget about it when I realized how I'm a little annoyed at how I trusted her again a few years ago, and she betrayed my trust. I wanted to see if she's doing bad without me. I looked up her social and saw she's been reposting videos saying she wants to end herself, and she had depression. I'm one of the pettiest people alive, so that made me a little happy that she's doing badly without me. Annoyingly, I went to sleep and had a dream about her. Okay, sometimes a little karma gazing is sweet. However, here is what I have to say, guys. Once you block them, move on. Do not look back. Keep them in your past. This includes acting like a bitch and stalking their social media. Find an activity. Focus on your life, meaning, and goals. Never let anyone have free room and board in your head. It was like we were back to dating and she was laying in bed with me. She was giving me her pretty smile and that smile made me feel like she loves me and needs me in her life. I woke up a little angry. I thought I was over her, 
but I guess deep down I really wanted to give her another chance and hope she's loyal this time. I tried lying to myself. Every once in a while my friends talk about women they've been with and show pictures of the exes to each other. No nudes. They would ask for pictures of my exes. I didn't have any. So I convinced myself I should talk to her to get a picture to show it to my friends. Slap to the back of the head. You need professional help, my brother. And a new set of friends. Your self-esteem should never be dependent on the validation of others in such a trivial way. The fact that you did not have hot pictures of an ex-girlfriend drove you to yet another momentously stupid decision? In the comments section below, if you see my point about where he needs, he needs help, give your thoughts, please. It had been five days since she tried contacting me, so I accepted her friend request. Hang on, hang on. Slap to the back of the head. You know why you got the double slap. It had been five days since she tried contacting me, so when I accepted her friend request, I waited for a message. No message for that day. I thought maybe she was busy, but the next day, no response. I got a little worried. Those videos she's been reposting, did she really do it? She always sends me a message first. I haven't gotten one in two days. I checked her social and they hadn't been used in two days. I scrolled through some of the reposted videos. I see a lot, there's a lot of videos of people saying they regret the mistakes they made or wishing for the relationship had worked out. Videos reposted of people saying they miss their ex and they dream of being with them again. I was a little scared to confirm if she's really gone or not. I prepared myself and sent her a message. Slap to the back of the head. Did you all see the lesson here? Once again, he has fallen into her frame. He's obsessed and making excuses in his head to be weak and be led around by his nose. She has no respect for him and she is showing it. Oh hey, oh hey, I feel so stupid for overreacting. So I spent time messaging her and wow, those are the driest responses I've ever seen. Feels like she didn't want to talk to me, then surprisingly leaves me on read. I was so angry. I checked her social again and I saw she reposted videos of people saying their exes deserved better and they didn't deserve to be loved. F that. I'm so dumb, I'm not sure what to do right now. Would be weird if I just ghosted her right now or what? Edit. Found out she's a nurse, so that makes me feel even more dumb. A nurse, huh? Isn't that interesting? I suggest you check out my video. 10 warning signs she's cheating on you for my comment on nurses. The link will also be in the description. Check it out. Well, I'm so glad I didn't need to point out that I agree with you. You are a dumbass. I don't know how you were raised. However, the fact that you allow this woman to manipulate you over several years speaks volume. Okay, let's get serious. In my personal opinion, you seem to be driven by a deep-seated need for validation and a fear of abandonment. I'm guessing it's rooted in your early years experiences. Obviously, you have some kind of unresolved emotional conflicts mixed with codependency with hints of an unhealth relational pattern established in childhood. I wasn't there as a fly on the wall, so 
I could be wrong, but I have seen someone with an insecure attachment style. I say this because your repeated engagement with a woman who has betrayed you over and over and kind of suggests an insecure attachment style and possibly an anxious one at that. This can lead to a persistent desire for validation and difficulty in letting go of past relationships. So guys, pay attention. Don't let this be you. Learn from this and use it in your own lives. If you and the 79.1% of men and the 20.9% of women found value in this channel, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from this channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, defeats, as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, subscribe to my Locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people and this support helps me make more content for you.